Hey folks, it's Ray with Taste Radio. Right now I'm honored to be sitting down with the one and only Kendall Tool. Kendall, how are you? I'm doing so great. How are you? I am doing fantastic. And you did get the memo before uh, you came over to match our orange, the oh, Taste yeah. Radio orange. You got your orange dress on. Well You done. know, I just, I wanted to be living citrus. <laughs> Actually, it does match my favorite flavor of Don't Quit. So there you go. Which one is that? It's the orange one. It's the mighty um, orange mango. I'm obsessed with it. Okay. So I put on the dress today and I was like, wait, I feel like I'm matching my favorite can. But it's good. It works well. Yeah, this is a slightly lighter orange than your dress. But it oh, is orange discerning. nonetheless. Oh, discerning. I love yeah. it. No, that's true. That's true. If yeah. we like do an ombre moment, I'm, I'm at north. I'm by the top end of the can. Yes. And the new, the new marketing, which I love. Did you so. say ombre? Ombre, yes. Ombre. That's an amazing Ombre. Word. Ombre. O-M-B-R-E. That's an amazing word. Yes. So okay. it's, it's a gradient of color from light to dark. Wow. See, this Learning is, something new every day. I <laughs> appreciate when I learn something new on Taste Radio because <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one who knows these things. And well, now you just, you threw me a curveball there, Kendall. There you go. I yeah. gave you the curveball. Shocker. Thank you very much. Don't quit. You are a brand ambassador. You've been with the brand for some time. Are you an yeah. investor in, in the brand as well? Yes, I'm one of the partners as well. Amazing, so amazing. Mm -hmm. So I know you, and I think some of our listeners would know you from Peloton. Uh -huh. And as an influencer, you have almost a million followers on Instagram. Uh, you're out there. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about your relationship with Don't Quit and how you're incorporating it into your daily life and into your professional life as well. Oh, totally. I mean, what's so fantastic about don't quit and the formulation is that it's something I authentically use every day. I take my don't quit. I, I, it's not a, it's so funny. It sounds like a medicine. Like I take my don't quit, but it truly does kind of feel like that when I'm teaching three to four classes back to back in a day. Um, I always have my don't quit with me. I take that before my workout and sometimes during it is in one of my secret water bottles while I'm teaching. I have one of like actual normal H2O and then one of my don't quit. And then after I always do my, my protein workout, my protein shake from don't quit as well. And I love it. Yeah, there's uh, two different package types. You yes. have a PET bottle and you have what appears to be, I think, a 12-ounce can. What's So the cans are energy and hydration. They have yes. caffeine in them. Yep. The PETs are essentially smoothies. Similar, yeah. So they're, they're a protein shake. And what's so great about it, too, is that it doesn't have all the other hate to call it what it is, but it doesn't have as much of the filler that's out there in other mm -hmm. products on the market. I also have a sensitive stomach because, you know, I'm an anxious girly and okay. anxious girlies have sensey tummies. But what I love about the Don't Quit Protein is that it truly is whey protein isolate. So it does not give me any weird stomach issues, anything like that, which I've had the experience of with other protein drinks. So I was really excited about that. And then I also love that with our energy skew, we have an ingredient in there called Cognizant. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool about it. It's great for brain development and brain health and for focus. Lord knows I need it. I can be a little ADD sometimes, <laughs> like the best of us can. So. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, loyal listeners of the podcast know we are uh, fans of Cognizant. I uh, love it. I know. Yeah. I noticed the hat in the corner. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hat. We have uh, T-shirts in the bags and whatnot. <laughs> and yeah. Um, and I'm glad that you called it a protein shake. I use protein shake or shake and smoothie interchangeably. But uh -huh. it, it feels like Don't Quit has a very masculine, and this is just me talking, has a yeah. sort of very masculine kind of aesthetic to it. Um, but here you are saying that you drink it all the time yeah. and share you know, your habits, your consu consumption habits of, of Don't Quit with your followers and with people who are Peloton devotees. Um, how do you, I guess, incorporate a more... Um, universal vibe such that it, people think about Don't Quit for men and women. Yes, totally. I think there were a few things as well that we thought about and I really brought up to the team. I, I looked at the way that we had our design of our energy drink and I was like, listen, a lot of energy drinks tend to lean very masculine, mm -hmm. especially in presentation and marketing. It's something that's always turned me off. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I think you see a lot of other energy offerings that are so centered towards women and it's on the nose. It's pink. It's sparkly. It's honestly a little young, embarrassing in mm -hmm. my taste. So I wanted to help the team find a design that really spoke to both male and female audiences, but was bright and fun and inspiring. So I was really excited when we changed our can design. And then we focused more on that ombre, your favorite word. Yes. To represent <laughs> what the colors were and what the flavor profiles were. And so I think that drew a lot of different things in. Even just the shape of the, the shake bottle, too. It's got a little curve to it. Mm -hmm. It's not so in-your-face sport masculine. But let's be honest, we're all on the go. We're all moving in some way, shape, or form. 
obviously this is the type of nutrition offering and uh, protein and energy offering that would draw somebody who is active because of all of the clean ingredients and the lack of what's not in the drink that makes it a little bit better. So I think we, we strike a good balance in my opinion. Of course, always open to feedback because we have to be open to feedback. Mm-hmm. But I do think it's a, it's a happy balance between the two. Yeah, I think when I was saying it skews a little more masculine, I think in particular the protein shake more than the energy drinks. The, yeah. the energy drinks and hydra- energy and hydration drinks definitely feel like they are gender neutral. Yes. Um, and they feel like something that is definitely not, you know, a Red Bull, a monster, what have yeah. you. Um, something Super aggressive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something that does, you know, fit a lifestyle vibe. I mean, I can definitely see someone in the middle of the day after a run doing what, you know, in, in, in any kind of activity yeah. using this and drinking this and holding it in their hand. Yeah. And I think that sort of lifestyle component can be the most challenging component of marketing a brand. Yeah. So your job in a lot of ways is to make people feel comfortable Mm -hmm. with this being incorporated into their lives. Don't quit as a brand. How do you try to, how do you try to incorporate those elements of lifestyle when you are promoting don't quit? Oh, totally. I think it's really showing the authenticity of how it integrates into my day, right? Like I think for me, especially as a woman who's doing multiple things, like I have you know, I kind of joke. Everyone's like, oh, my God, you're Sporty Spice. But I'm like, yeah, but not. Spice. Because, yeah, I'm Sporty Spice for this half the day. And I practically live in Lycra and in my Lululemon. But the other half the day, you know, I'm in business meetings. I'm developing other brands. I'm building other opportunities and projects on the side that people don't know about. So I also have to put on that work cap. I have to be that woman leading a meeting. And then I also, you know, want to go and spend time with my family and with my girlfriends and be able to relax. So being able to have a product that can kind of transfer me in and out of all those hats that I wear and in and out of all of those different roles that I have is really important. And for me as someone at the forefront of health and wellness, I really try to focus on my fuel, taking care of my mind, taking care of my body, and I have to do that through my nutrition. So it comes to if I'm going to have energy, how can I give myself the best energy I can with hydration, keep myself going? If I'm going to have protein, which is a goal, right, to hit that protein macro, that's really Mm -hmm. the only thing I try to reach for every day. I don't count my macros, but I do try to drive to understand how much protein I'm intaking just to keep my body moving. I know that if I'm going to be absorbing protein and taking protein, how do I know that it's going to be the best product for me? So, like, honestly, another thing I love to do, quick tip, you guys, if anybody has one of those Ninja Creamies, you know the little device that you can turn oh, yeah, anything sure. frozen into, course, like, yeah. ice cream? Yeah. Such a great hack. All my fitness friends are obsessed with it. It's such a great thing. So, if you take the Don't Quits and actually use them as the base for the ice cream, hmm. so you put that in the Ninja Creamy, like, you freeze it. We use the cookies and cream flavor that we just came out with, um, Damar Hamlin. Our other um, brand ambassador and face for the brand, he actually helped develop that cookies and cream flavor. Wow. It is so dang good. You go ahead, you freeze it. You add some cookies to it after. It is protein ice cream. So I will wake up if I have a sweet tooth and maybe I don't really want to have, you know, eggs and bacon for the millionth (laughs) time. I'll just dip into, you know, the protein ice cream and feel totally great about it. So I think that's what's important, too, is understanding that these are something, these are products that I use authentically through different phases of my day and my life. How do you authentically express what you're doing, share what you're doing yeah. on social media? Because yeah. as you and I both know, <laughs> social media can come across <laughs> as very, very fake. Yeah, um, and there's, there, you know, there's a ton of influencers that are out there where yeah. it's very, very clear you're hawking a product more yep. than you are actually authentic, authentically incorporating into your life. Yeah. So, um, it, you know, I, what is your strategy for for posting video for uh, for posting photos so that it doesn't look like it's an advertisement yeah hashtag ad I think I think what's really important one is speaking really candidly and honestly like I'm very proud of the fact I'm very open about my mental health it's been a huge part of my community and what I've created at Peloton and and sharing my story and a lot of people really relate that way so I do a lot of just like direct-to-camera conversations commentary on things you know not always having the perfect outfit or the perfect lighting or the perfect background. I think what's great about social media now is we're in a place where it's much less curated. It's not as trendy to be curated. Mm -hmm. I think we can thank TikTok for that, actually. Like, really creating content on the fly while you're in the situation or in the process. It doesn't have to look like, you know, a perfectly edited film. I went to film school, so I had to get over that a little bit. I was Mm -hmm. like, but wait, it doesn't look great. Or like the aesthetic isn't perfect. Screw that. Not everything has to be that. There's days when you do a photo shoot and it's beautiful and it's highbrow and you have this beautiful ad. But I'd say like, I think the best kind of marketing is the off the cuff stuff. Like 
for example, this past weekend I was at Stagecoach, hence my terrible raspy voice. So thank you all for bearing with it. The dust there is very real. But on the way to the venue, the whole car, it's my mom, my dad, my boyfriend and I, we all had don't quits. And I like took a photo. I was like, oh my God, I need this. Like this is going to keep me going because here we go. Six hours of country music in the middle of the desert. <laughs> and it, that's funny. And then that's people drive and they find out the product. It's just showing how, you know, taking somebody along for the ride. Right. I, I treat my social media. I try to like I'm sharing my world with my best friend and texting them throughout the day. Like I want my feed to feel like a group chat and people can chat and say what they think and share this stuff and ask people questions, like really try to break that fourth wall to create connection and conversation. Cause that's really why it's there. Right. Like mm -hmm. it's not about me promoting my own life. Screw that. That's so boring. And so self-centered and egotistical. Like I want to help spur conversation and get to know people and help create a space for people to feel seen and, that, you know, we're all kind of in this crazy world together. Yeah. Well, I'm glad someone spurred a conversation between you and I, because I, I feel like this has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, you are very much in demand. So I, uh, <laughs> I got to let you go. But thank, <laughs> thank you so much you. for taking the time to be with me, Kendall. Of I really course. appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have thank a great you. one. You too.